Hey all, Pioneer Field Agronomist Mike Gronsky here today up in north central Wisconsin working on evaluating some of the alfalfa across the area this spring and, and finding a lot of variations as I work my way through the countryside. After a pretty pretty wet summer last year in 2019 and, a, and an even rougher fall into the winter here, you know, we're finding um, varying degrees of damage throughout the area. Um, it ranges from anything to fields that are completely heaved out to uh, wheel traffic areas. Um, we're also seeing uh, stand productions and also some of the low areas are completely drowned out. Um, now, while it's not as widespread as what the 2019 losses were, you know, there are going to be some fields that will need some attention, whether it's uh, interceding into them again with alfalfa or adding some grasses or potentially increasing the numbers of acres that we seed here this spring as we get going. Um, best thing you can do at this point is get out and start taking a look at your fields. Really only a couple tools that you need to make this work. Take along an alfalfa square that will encompass a square foot and bring along a handy little shovel to do some digging. As you get digging, the first stages here where we don't have a lot of regrowth on the plants, the best thing that you can do is just initially count the plants. For some of the older stands that actually did survive the 2019 season, um, you're going to be looking for three to five healthy plants um, per square foot, bare minimum. You know, you get below that threshold, you're, you're definitely going to have to entertain interseeding um, at a bare minimum. Um, as far as our newer stands go, um, any of your seeding fields, ideally you'd like to have 15 to 20 plants per square foot. Unfortunately, as we look at some of the stands across the area, it seems like a lot of the seedings, we did see some um, stand reductions. Instead of finding that 15 to 20 plants per square foot, we're finding a lot of this, this kind of eight to 10, occasionally some 12 plants per square foot. So not gonna be probably quite to the yield potential that we're looking for. Once you get to the point of determining if that stand was worth keeping in terms of uh, the count itself, I'd also encourage you to dig a few plants. When you do so, you should do some investigating and look for crown buds that are still forming. Uh, just to ensure that that plant's actively growing, and then I would also split some roots and look at them to see what that what their what the actual color and the firmness is. You know, they should be very turgid, should have a, a, a kind of an off white color to them. If you open them up and they're kind of honeycombed out, and you're not seeing new crown crown buds forming, you know, you may have some fields that are going to need some reevaluation um, as they may be running out of carbohydrate uh, carbohydrates as we try to green up here this spring. The other factor is also looking at if we have a field on the borderline is just coming back and looking at stem count later on. Um, and, and the cutoffs there would be once we start getting below 55 stems per square foot, once we have six to eight inches of regrowth, you know, you start losing yield potential. Um, once you get down to around 40 stems per square foot, uh, you're basically at about 80% of your yield potential that you can expect to get out of that given field and below 40 uh, makes it very hard to, uh, to really justify keeping that stand without thickening it up. Uh, the last piece I'd like to mention is just as we look back at the winter that we had in, in 2020, um, in terms of GDUs in the fall and, and having enough carbohydrates in that root reserve to get things to green up, you know, after running some calculations, really the, the alfalfa that I would be some of the most concerned about would be last two weeks of September, first week of October. Um, and at that period there, you know, we're going to have alfalfa that's going to have accumulated more than 200 GDUs, but not more than 500. So there, if there are fields that are going to have an opportunity to run out of carbohydrates before they're actively taking up nutrients, those will be the ones to keep an eye on. So. For more questions, please reach out to your local Pioneer representative. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.